Nadine Doris has probably gone too far now. Her fellow Conservative ministers are already gathering and briefing the media and saying that this is uh, unacceptable, particularly in the... Um, uh, in the wake of the stabbing of Sir David Amos. It's in very poor taste. Of course, it's in poor taste. It's disgusting. Nadine Doris has put out a meme of uh, the Prime Minister Caesar and Rishi Sunak as Brutus stabbing Caesar in the back. And this morning she wrote an article for the Daily Mail referencing exactly that scene from the Shakespeare play. This is the sort of thing a cartoonist in Fleet Street might be able to get away with. It's not the sort of thing that a politician in Westminster should even think of. And Nadine Doris, as the minister in charge of the DCMS, Digital Culture, Media and Sport Ministry, should know the difference and she should know the boundaries. She has overstepped those boundaries. And so to suggest that the meme was accidental or um, ill thought, ill planned, this was a planned vicious attack on Rishi Sunak and it follows up the planned vicious attack about his clothes and uh, the 450 Prada shoes versus the 450 earrings from Claire's accessories. Um, Sunak's lack of self-awareness. Well actually today in the eye there's an article suggesting that um, the Prime Minister feels sorry for Sunak because Sunak doesn't seem to play by the dark arts. Well, Nadine Doris clearly does because Nadine Doris, instead of doing her real job, which is to be the Minister for the DCMS, and instead of getting things like the Online Safety Bill out as law so that people are properly protected, instead of doing that, she presides over the drafting of a bill which is so full of technicalities it cannot advance. And meanwhile, sits like, let's make this Shakespearean as well, plotting like one of the witches on the moor, hoping for the downfall of Rishi Sunak, who was her friend until very recently, sitting on the same cabinet table. Nadine Doris needs to... I, I don't particularly want to give Nadine Doris a taste of her own medicine. I think uh, her own medicine is disgusting. But it is impossible not to think of her plotting like some witch on the moor. Double tubble, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble, fillet of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake, eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and howl its wing. I am appalled. It's time for Nadine... Nadine Doris. It's time for Nadine Doris to retire.